All right, so now we're going to go ahead and create a footprint from the data sheet, and we're going to do it for the trim, the variable resistor, the trim pot. So we're going to go here to the bomb and open up the data sheet for this. And you can see here that, let me zoom in, here's a recommend lane pattern. This is what we're going to go by. So here would be the pad. There's three pads, one, two, three, that correspond with uh, the device in this way. And here's the schematic symbol they use for it. So I am going to go ahead and just take a snippet of it because we're going to want to recalculate. So one of the things I can't stand about the data sheets is they always give us the dimensions uh, in terms of overall size. However, we want to an Eagle CAD to know the distance to this pad at its center, each of these pads. And so just real quick to calculate this to make it easier, this one will be uh, in the X place zero uh, because the origin, it's in line with the origin. And then in the Y's place, we're going to have uh, this distance right here, 0.7 plus half the distance of this pad which is 1.5 divided by 2 and that will give us a positive 1.45 and then that would be that distance and then right here this pad is going to be the 1.2, and this is all in millimeters by the way, 1.2 millimeters from the origin down to here, and then half of this pad, which is 0.6, which will give us a x value of the distance from this origin, which is 0.4, half of this, 0.4 from here to half of this, 0.6. So we'll have 1.2 positive, and for our white value, we're going to have a negative 1.8. And then, of course, this one is just the the positive or the negative of this x value. Oh, and actually, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. This is just one. All right, so now we'll go into here and make a footprint and I'm going to name this footprint a TC33X because it is specific to this device and that is our trim resistor so we're going to change this to millimeters First thing you do, get in the habit of checking against first thing. And now we just go like that. So now we're gonna select S and D because we're making a pad for a surface mount device and we're going to start with this top pad, which is uh, 1.6 width by 1.5 height. 1.6 by 1.5. Now, uh, the roundness is just the corners. If we change this to 10, you can see they become more rounder. I don't care. I'm just going to go with zero. And now, if we select this entry field, we'll be able to position it based on coordinates and it has to be this exact syntax of parentheses so for this one it's going to be x coordinate 0 no comma do not use a comma in eagle cad i'll just give you an error 1.45 high so now you can see it placed this pad uh, relative to the origin where we want it and for the other one we're going to go 1 to negative 1.8 now place this pad down here and of course if the other one is just the uh, symmetric value of that so if you press up key 
it will bring back the history, the last entry, and we just want to put a negative in front of this x value, and there we have it. Now one mistake I made is these pads are not the same dimensions. So if I highlight this pad, I can actually change its dimensions right here. Or you could have just done that the right way initially. And it's 1.2 by 1.2. This pad's the same. 1.2 by 1.2. There. And you can see it looks very similar to the manufacturers. One thing we want to make sure is our pin numbering is the same. So here's a 1, 2, and 3. And that's how they number it. That's how we number our schematic. So that's how our footprint has to be as well. So we'll go ahead and change these values to match. It starts down here. Now when I want to change this, if I change it to 2, it's already, this pin's already 2, it'll give us an error. So I'll just make this an arbitrary value for now. And now this one will be 1. This one will be 2. And this way will be 3. Now one thing you want to make sure too when you're looking at your data sheet is it gives a, if it's a top view that we're actually doing this by top view. Uh, relays, it's pretty common that they give you this layout from the bottom view, which you would get a mirrored version and everything would be wired wrong. So definitely make sure this is uh, a top view so we're, we're safe the way we made it. Now I have my pads. I gotta do the silk screen. The silk screen is going to be in layer T place, which is 21. And I'm not going to give it an incredible amount of detail. I just basically want to get an outline of the most outermost part of this package device, which we can get from 3.7, the 3.7 right here, and the outermost 3.8 here, and that gives it from the center. So we are going to make a line, and the width I like in millimeters is 0.2. And now this will be printed onto the PCB, uh, unlike the keep out. So I'm going to use this entry bar right here just to make my coordinates correct. And the top left corner will be a negative half of 3.7, so negative 1.85. And a positive Y value which will be half of 3.8, which is 1.9. And then the right corner is just going to be opposite of that. So it's going to be a positive Y value and a positive X value. So I'm just going to hit the up key in this entry bar, which will give me the history and change the negatives and the positives to give me the corners of the box. Now the next one's going to be positive X, negative Y. both negative for this corner and then we're coming back to the beginning so negative x positive y now when this actually gets produced the line that goes over the pad won't, won't be there it's actually with a negative resist it'll be exposed so really this line will stop here and we could do that here but uh, it doesn't matter to me So now we want the keep out, and we go ahead and change to a smaller resolution, and I'll just do a square. And basically I'm just saying do not put any package in here. Now we want to go to our names. Now the difference between T names and B names is top and bottom. So this gets printed to the top of your PCB. Now even though this is uh, everything is surface mounted here and it's on one layer only, I could if I wanted to underneath print the name of this. Uh, that's a design choice if you want it. I'm just going to stick with the T name, but that's how you would do that there. So this will be all caps T name. I'm not too worried about the size of the font, it's something I can change later when I actually do the PCB layout. 
and this is going to be a value but change make sure you're in the value layer to t value and there you have it the schematic part is done and that's how you make a part from a data sheet